Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. First off, I would just like to say it is a very, very bright day. There is sun piercing through my window and I've got a studio light off for some reason. That I don't know of, but I'll leave it on in just in case the sun disappears. But anyways, on to the more important topic. This video I'm doing is a video on how to deal with haters or how I deal with haters. Now, this is all based on personal experience I have had with haters personally. I have had everything in hating from petty little stuff to quite nasty hate I've had literally the whole range of hatred that you can have on YouTube or on any other social media sites for that fact and I have had absolutely loads of messages lately and requests to film this video I've had messages through Twitter and Instagram of how do you deal with haters how do you how would I go about dealing with haters and everything like that so I thought what I would do is film this video so I am going to start off by saying that when it comes to haters I don't have to deal with it in any specific way for me personally it goes in one ear and out the other it just goes straight over my head I don't think about it I don't dwell into it I just kind of brush it off and I'm fine, it doesn't get to me because I do have quite thick skin. I always have done but YouTube's made me even more like that. Now when it comes down to hate, I know like I said it doesn't really affect me in any way, shape or form because I do have quite thick skin, but hatred and hate affects people in different ways. It's, a, it's basically bullying and it affects people in different ways. For some people it can just go straight over the head, they don't give a damn whatsoever and then on the other hand it can really hurt and destroy some people. Now like I say I do get hate myself but it just goes straight over my head and I don't care but I do have friends and everything like that that do have hate and it does affect them quite a lot than more than it does affect me and I can kind of see why and I can kind of understand how but it just doesn't affect me in that way so I'd help you guys watching this right now my subscribers or people who've just found me by watching this video by filming a how to deal with haters so I think after that very long intro I should probably get round to it so now the first thing I am going to say there is a difference between hate and constructive criticism now when it comes to hate, hate is just people being nasty, full stop, bang there, just completely and utterly nasty to you, or being hateful to you. When it comes to constructive criticism, if someone says to you something along the lines, I can only do this for what I've had personally, I think you showed that product for too long, I think you should use different music, I think you should do it this way, I think you should do it that way. That's constructive criticism, and they're trying to say something by not meaning it to be sound nasty, even if it does. They're just trying to help you but in their own way, or think they're helping you anyways. And when it comes down to constructive criticism, that is kind of a good thing, because you can kind of see things from other people's point of view. But even if they've commented and it's constructive criticism, you don't have to comment back going, I think you're wrong, I think you're this, I think you're that. No, literally all you want to do to constructive criticism is, thank you, I will take your comment into consideration. That is all you need to say. You don't need to start an argument up about constructive criticism, because sometimes constructive criticism can be a good thing. So I do personally, I just comment back saying thank you for your comment, I will take your opinion into consideration. Even if you don't, you know. So when it comes down to hate, it is particularly someone being nasty to you and or trying to get other people to be nasty to you as well. So normally what haters do is they go onto a YouTube video and they say dislike it and they leave bad comments down it and they try to start a fight with you in your own comment section of your video. It's one of the things they do and that's one of the things that I ignore and I found the best thing to do is completely ignore them, don't dwell into it. It's normally jealousy that causes hate so what you've got to remember is if they're being nasty about you or being nasty to you it is normally jealousy. Completely ignore what they said, delete their comment and then if they continue to do it again delete their comment but also block their account and yes if they do come back and make another account block that account again it does not matter just delete and block it that's what I do not because it hurts me personally but because I don't want other people to deal with that when they're commenting on my videos or talk to me online for them to see it as well I just want it to, it doesn't need to be there I don't need they don't need to see it I don't need to see it it doesn't need to be there so when it comes down to haters all they're trying to do is to upset you hating on you is a way to upset you and why would you let them upset you or, or let them stop you from doing what you love? If you like doing something, do it. Don't let them stop you doing it. Just literally just carry on with what you do. You know, haters are your motivators and, you know. So what you've got to think, if the hate really upsets you, what you've got to think is, is this really worth getting upset or angry over? I can say the best thing to do is just completely ignore it. It's not only jealousy that causes the haters. So what you've got to think is they're just jealous of me because that isn't the case of a hater. When they say comment on your video, or they tweet you, or they leave comments on your Instagram or something like that, what they want to do is create an argument to make you look bad. That's what they want to do. They want to make you look bad on your own channel, on your own Twitter. They want to make you look bad, and then people start taking sides, and you have their side and your side, and you have, it, it just goes all around, and it just starts a big argument. And in that way, they're winning because 
you've let them upset you, you've let them get you angry, and you've commented back, and then you're letting them cause an argument. Which is why I always say just ignoring it, deleting it, blocking them, or if it is really, really bad hate and it's constant and it is hate that YouTube or these social media sites let you report, I would definitely recommend reporting it. If it's not just petty, like your video is rubbish, you know, I don't like you, whatever, that's normal, just delete it and block them if you want to. But when it comes down to really bad hate, there is ways you can report it as well. Such as when you go to delete a comment or block a person, there is also a section to report someone on YouTube, which I would definitely recommend doing if it is really, really bad and it is and it is a subject that YouTube lets you report, I would definitely recommend reporting it. As well as deleting their comment and blocking them because YouTube has the right to view the deleted comment anyway. Honestly, I don't personally think it's worth the time to get upset or angry over a hater. I mean, I much prefer to spend my time talking to one of my friends or someone I actually like talking to than arguing back and commenting to a hater. Why would I want to waste my time talking to someone who clearly doesn't like me and wants to hate on me? Why the hell would I want to spend my time, you know, arguing back to them when I could be talking to one of my friends or talking to someone that I like talking to or doing something I like to do? Normally, when someone else sees what they wrote to you, all they think is that person is really, really stupid. Just turn yourself off and don't leave yourself open to it, literally. I don't even know how, I, how I've done it. I've always had thick skin and I've always kind of went, you know, brushed it off. It's not. I don't understand. Don't get yourself mixed into it. Just literally just ignore it. It makes them angry and it makes them not want to comment on your stuff and it makes them not want to do it much more because they're not going to get a reaction out of you and when they don't get a reaction out of you that's what a hate wants they want to make you look bad so don't answer it because then they've got nothing to argue back against and they're less likely to hate on you because they know they're not going to get a reaction out of you and also when they're hating on what you're doing don't let you don't let yourself get knocked down by it if they don't like certain videos tough if they don't like the way you look tough it doesn't it does not matter they're just being nasty continue on doing what you like doing it doesn't matter if you like doing it and why the hell would you stop doing it nothing annoys someone more than someone who doesn't like you and they see you smiling and they see you happy. That is one of the best ways to be, is to let them see you're happy, you're smiling, you're happy with your life, you don't care what they say, tough, go away, I don't care, that's... And at the end of the day, they are the ones that are sad and pathetic sitting there behind a keyboard commenting horrible things or saying horrible things to you that most likely they would never be able to say to your face. On the side of the million of them being able to be behind a computer and have the ability to be behind the keyboard for you not to know what they look like, for you not to know who they are and you can walk past them in the street and not know who they are. You don't know who they are, you don't know who they are, block them, delete it, get rid of it, don't listen to it, just carry on with what you're doing what you like to do. They are the ones sitting there for hours and hours and hours and hours, literally, just commenting down people's stuff, being nasty to people and trolling on people because they've got nothing better to do in their lives. I mean seriously, why don't they just go and get a life and stop being sad and pathetic and go and get a life? I'm sure I can guarantee there's a few haters watching this video right now and I'm probably getting a few nasty comments and a few dislikes and so on and so forth. I will. I don't care. It's just really sad and pathetic. They hide behind a keyboard and they say what they want behind a keyboard and it is just really sad and like, just, just wow. I mean seriously, don't let it affect you and just get on with what you like to. And sometimes when you see as well, you get little hate comments of you're ugly, I don't like you, so on and so forth. I'm not going to use swear words in my videos because I don't swear. But I've definitely had a few swear words just said to me or in the conversations. What you got to realise it probably took them about a whole of two seconds to write and enter that comment for you to see and you just think what a mindless word it actually was for them to comment and it took no thought whatsoever and they've just commented it to try and upset you and the aim is to upset you and all I can say is to everyone who's watching just don't let it upset you just get on with everything that you want to do just delete it like I say don't go into it don't let them start an argument with you because that just makes you look like the bad person when you're not. And at the end of the day, we are all human and life is what you make it. Now that reminds me of Hannah Montana. <laughs> but seriously, life is what you make it and if you let it be bad, then it's going to be bad and if you don't let it be bad, it's going to be happy. So just think about that and make your life happy and don't let it be And also, kindness costs nothing. Why is it so difficult for people to be kind and to comment something nice about you or tell you something nice about yourself? It costs nothing, it doesn't hurt you to be nice to someone. It doesn't hurt you to be kind and nice to someone. I mean, does it really? I can understand if you don't like someone, don't talk to them at all. Don't comment, don't talk to them, just leave them alone. You know, go have your separate paths and just don't acknowledge each other if you honestly don't like someone. Then don't talk to each other. Don't even acknowledge each other on social, definitely on social media sites. Yeah, that was probably a bit of a mixed up, weird, odd, 
kind of video for me to film even though I did script it and I did have a you know 284 pages of what to say and kind of well I didn't have what to say I didn't have it scripted out perfectly with every little thing I just had sections I wanted to talk about and things to point me in the right direction of what I wanted to talk about so I didn't forget and I think I've covered everything in your life you're always going to have someone that wants to bring you down that wants to upset you that wants to make you angry wants to make you look bad literally just ignore them you know block them don't acknowledge them literally just live your life and you be happy and you do you and you do what you like to do it doesn't matter what that is if it makes you happy as long as you're not hurting anyone else in the process and also just don't spend your time dwelling into it go and talk to your friends or your family or do something you love doing or do something you like doing just don't give them the time or just don't give them the time of day literally just don't and also when people hate on you it's because you've got something they want normally it as well it's because you've got something they want to have and they can't have so like i said jealousy and at the end of the day that is just extremely pathetic also have you ever met a hater that's doing better than you i haven't either so just think about it what i can say is hold your head high stand tall don't let them knock you down just don't let them do it continue doing you and continue doing what you love to do don't let them knock you down hold your head high and stand tall and to be honest, probably one of my things as well is my haters are most likely my motivators. I like proving them wrong, and I like doing better than them, and I love proving them wrong so very much. So yes, I am going to let you all go back to whatever you were doing now. I will see you in my next video. I'll link my Facebook, my Pinterest, my Instagram, and my Facebook in the description box below. And yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye. And one thing I forgot to mention, if someone's watching this who hates me, or some people are watching this who hate me, you hate me? Well, okay. Grab a chair and wait for me to bloody well care.